Hi there crafty peeps, Enos here from Paper Crafting with Enos and I am on today with a VR for Tina from Tina's Craft Creations. She is hosting a giveaway contest for a mega box of Maggie Holmes items. I mean, it is totally mega, okay? You've got to jump over to her channel and check it out. Um, you can find her at, at Tina's underscore craft underscore creations. And in order to be eligible to win, you must be 18 years or older, a visible subscriber. You have to create three embellishments, Maggie Holmes themed preferred but not required. You don't have to send anything in, but you do have to create a VR and post it on your channel, as well as um, take pick clear pictures and post them on her Instagram account. And the deadline to get your creations in is May 31st. So I am getting it in right under the wire. <laughs> so anyway, what I've got here are the collections that I used, the items that I used to create my goodies. I did use the Woodland Grove uh, Floral Ephemera Pack, a couple of pieces from each of these. I used um, a page or two from the Marigold. Um, this is the 6x8 collection. I used several sheets from the Woodland Grove 6x8. And I used some sentiments from this um, sticker sheet set that I got from, I think it was Timu. Anyway, they're black and white and white on black in here. I, I did a haul with these before, and there's a lot of great sayings in there. So anyway, let's get started with my goodies. It did say to do three, but these are small, so I did a number of these cute little banners. And I kind of followed after Septeria 19's um, one of her tutorials, and these are really, really cute. So basically, you're just using your scrap papers little teeny tiny pieces to put these together. You can see here that I've made a couple of little flowers and used some seed beads as the centers. I've got a little bit of dimension on here and I'm using one of the stickers from the sticker sheet that I just showed you. So that's one. Then I made this one that says celebrate and once again, it's got a lot of dimension on it. Okay, and um, I did use a Timu die that I just recently did a video on, I think, um, a haul that I did. And this button was one of the dies that I hauled. And you can see there that I did stitch inside the buttonholes. And it is popped up on some foam tape, and that's really cute. Love the colors of this collection. Then I created this one that says yours always. And once again, a couple of the little flowers that I've made and one of the sentiments from the sticker sheet, yours always. And then there's this one. And <clears throat> this one, um, I did use a die to cut out the little heart. And then I hand cut a little gold outline to go on there. I took some of the thread that was left over from stitching inside my buttons there. And I just made a little bow, topped it off with a flat back pink pearl jemmy. And um, this one says, be awesome today. Once again, lots of dimension there. So um, I did actually make a fifth banner, but I used the banner to embellish another banner. So then I made this bigger project. So this is my project number two. And I did use the KS Craft Large um, Star, uh, what does she call this, ruffle die. So I don't know if you can see that those are little bitty stars in there. And this is just one layer. I didn't do the second layer. Um, but I did do some gold stitching with some metallic thread on there, put a couple of flat pack jemmies. Here is that fifth little banner from my collection there that I just added here. I did use a little eyelet there and a couple of my handmade flowers with the seed beads there and some ephemera. I used a gold butterfly and a beautiful rose on the back there. So this is really, really pretty. Gorgeous. And my number three project is this banner die. Um, this large banner here is actually a die from Timu, and it came in a nesting set. I think there were five or six in there. This is the largest one in the set. I did do some gold stitching with some metallic thread on there. Popped up one of the pieces of ephemera from the ephemera pack. Here is a little 
extra banner that I just put together with some of the scraps left over from this and the little sticker that says have an open heart and there is some gold stitching behind it and I kind of like to leave some of my threads hanging sometimes I just think it adds a little bit so there's some threads there I did make a rosette from one of the pieces of paper from the collection and then these are also from the ephemera pack and I just topped off some spots on the rows here with some um Oh, what is this called? Um, the glossy accents. Yeah. So those are my projects that I made for um, Tina's Maggie Holmes giveaway. And I hope you enjoyed these projects and um, check out her channel. I will leave her information in the description box below. And I hope you have a great day and a wonderful weekend. And I will catch you on the next crafty video. Bye-bye, crafty peeps.